Hey everybody, welcome to Thursday's Meet the Collection. Uh, last time we did one of my skunk line girls, so I figured might as well do the other skunk line girl. Uh, this is her sister. So obviously I got them from the same place, which was from Jason and Rob. Um, this one to me is the one that I probably like a little better. And I know a lot of people probably look and go, well, the other one has nicer striping, which is true. Uh, but this girl just has a lot of funky stuff going on. Like I really like, you know, the other girl has a similar pattern, obviously, in certain places. But this almost gives you like a, uh, to me, like a leopard type feel almost. Not like a leopard the animal, but when you think about like leopard and other other snakes or whatever, um, it just it just reminds me of that a little bit. And uh, as I discussed in the previous video, uh, she gets like these green hues down here, which you really can't see, um, unfortunately, on the camera. It's just one of those things I can't pick up high. She also has a really, really pretty head. Let me see if I can try to get her to cooperate for you to see that. Um, beautiful reds and orange and pinks. Um, just really, really cool. And she's actually cooperating a little bit, I think. I have the camera facing the other way, so I can't tell, but it looked like she uh, stopped pretty good there for you. Another girl I don't spend a tremendous amount of time with, but she's still fine. She's never given me any kind of problem. Um, you know, a lot of it is just once, once they're good, it really doesn't take much work to maintain a relationship with them, as long as you don't do anything to ruin the relationship that you have. Uh, her and her sister are both very food motivated, so you do uh, have to be cautious when you're feeding, especially because their tubs happen to be above my head, um, which means that uh, opening it can be fun once I start feeding because they don't have a tremendous amount of patience. Fortunately, I, I typically start and feed from the top down. Um, just easier to get those ones up top that are harder to feed out of the way first uh, than dealing with them later, because once these guys know what's going on, there's no trickery that's gonna work for them. It's, they know the deal and you better have with the goods or they're coming for you. Uh, so she uh, also is an extremely late 2015, also on the small side. Um, I just really like stuff growing real, real slow. Not in any rush to breed anything, although I do think uh, I want to breed her maybe this upcoming season or the next. So uh, taking the reins off her a little bit and letting her uh, put on a little weight and a little size and see if she gets ready. Um, Still not 100% certain what mail I'm gonna to put to her. I have several options. Uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to show you that orange head uh, ocelot super stripe mail there, or possible head ocelot. Um, he's definitely a candidate with her orange head and his super orange head. Uh, they might go well together. Um, there's a possibility I might try some somebody like Orion to her, maybe that Philly stripe mail that I have. Uh, I know I'm talking about a lot of males you guys haven't seen. You have seen Orion before. Um, we'll see what this clutch brings with his his first clutch and how much I like them. That'll really dictate, you know, what projects I put him into. And with Borneos, even if I don't like the results this time, which I highly doubt there's any way I, I will uh, not like them, uh, you have to give them a second and third chance because Borneos are so polygenic and throw such crazy stuff. Even the same exact combination of snakes can yield different stuff, let alone a little bit different, you know, bloodline on the female could totally change what I get. So he will get a few cracks, but I, I'm sure I'm going to like what's coming. Uh, those eggs are on day 57 right now, so it's basically any time now they could pip. Um, I would say probably three to five days within that time span they should based on the temperature I'm incubating at. Um, but they come out when they want to. Um, I've tried to control it a few times and, and I have not won. They always seem to just do whatever they want. So I've given up on that. I just keep it a little on the cooler side so I have some room for error if, uh, you know, something gets a little too warm and uh, I let it roll. Hopefully she's letting you see that nice head again there. She's such a pretty animal and she's so relaxed considering Literally the last time I recreationally handled this animal was probably a year ago, maybe longer, maybe even two years ago. Um, I take her out to cage clean and I took her and her sister out for some pictures uh, last fall, I think. 
and I literally just had them in a holding bin together and took a video and a couple of quick pictures. I didn't even really take them out or put them in the grass or anything. It was a little on the cooler side, so I just had them in a, in a holding tote and took pictures of them for somebody. I was actually thinking about maybe letting them go at one point when I was in a little bit tougher financial situation. Uh, but I'm glad that I didn't because they are really cool snakes. And like I said, I really like her a tremendous amount. So I am definitely looking forward on seeing what I can do with her. Um, you know, skunk line isn't, uh, isn't everywhere anymore. I only know of a few people that even have animals from that uh, that are actually working with them. So I'm pretty excited for that opportunity. It's funny, she's uh, doing a little luring over here, which you really can't see because it's on the other side. So, hoping a bird stops by? I don't think one's going to stop down here for you. Uh, you could try but yeah she really is an awesome snake and like I said it's a testament once you earn their trust um, you don't have to keep handling them all the time it's okay if you do you know and they're they're good with it but it's not a necessity like people think people think you have to handle them all the time to keep them tame these are smart enough animals they figure it out uh, some other species you do want to keep up with the repetition but short tails don't seem to need that uh, to maintain your relationships with them as long as things don't change. You know, if I were to come out here and grab her head all of a sudden and do something that uh, put her off, then our relationship can change and maybe going forward in the future she's not going to be so trusting. But right now I've never ever given her a reason not to trust me, and so she does. You know, nothing I do really puts her off. But you can always, you can always uh, undo everything pretty quickly if you're not careful. Um, I've done it accidentally before just with you know, a particular snake I took outside for pictures and she was not comfortable outside and she decided that that was my fault, which, you know, essentially it is. I took her out here, but uh, what are you doing? After that, we never had a good relationship again. Um, I had to fight just to be able to move her to clean her. Um, and we had a pretty good relationship prior, so it's kind of amazing how that can happen. One little thing, uh, they don't forget much. So try to be decent and it uh, pays dividends. I am exhausted, so I'm gonna go clean some snakes, make some dinner, and try to get in bed early. I say that a lot, and then I end up in bed at one or two in the morning, but we're gonna try today. So we will see you guys this weekend. Uh, not sure what I'm doing for a video this weekend, but obviously if those eggs start pipping and hatching, I might do a video on those and uh, you know take some, take some videos in the incubator there and take some videos uh, of anything that, that hatches and, and stuff like that. Um, definitely looking forward to it. Last time Lilith's eggs, uh, the babies were pretty good. There was a few that were a handful for a couple of months, but overall they weren't very bad. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens this time around. Orion's line is from Electra, and Electra throws babies that are pretty moody. Um, so we'll see what a, one more generation does to Orion's offspring and how Lilith's good temperament balances that out. Uh, plus incubating a little on the cooler side also seems to uh you know have some effect on that as well so i'll let you guys enjoy her for another second here and then we will sign out and see you next time i'm so glad she's posing i hope it's coming out good and in focus because she is such a gorgeous animal especially that head area i mean those pinks and oranges and stuff are just out of this world i know it's not going to show up on the video like it is in person but it's one of my favorite things about borneo so huh? you guys have some pretty heads Stick your tongue in my eye. All right, guys, we'll see you. Have a good one.